okay as you can see now we're going to restart our machine you will notice the name of the you know logging page has changed this means the machine has successfully been configured as a domain controller okay so now let's go ahead and log in using our administrator password so now that's what we going to do here so use your administrator password as you can see here this is the new logging name so we have ad administrator now you want to log in using the administrator password and then from here our next step will be to configure the dns configuration to do the dns configuration which is like since we enable the dns on this machine which is our domain control this machine will act as a dns server for devices that are connected to into our ad lab environment okay so for the dns service to function properly we need to configure a forwarder and the forward is a device to which the dns query will be sent out like when the dc which is our domain control cannot resolve it in our case we need to forward the request to pfsense which is that what we have configured the pfsense okay so the dns server of pfsense will then perform the lookup so now that's what we're going to configure now so the configuration of our dns um, dns configuration that's what we will be working on now okay as you can see here now our server manager dashboard is showing up now let's go ahead and jump right into our dns configuration okay so just let's give it a second a little bit it should be coming up soon okay server manager dashboard configuration this local server add node roles feature and order server to manage create a server group connect this server to like okay so looks like it's ready so now to configure the dns to do the dns configuration you want to go ahead and start with this right here then when you click and then you go to a window administration tool open it and you want to go all the way down you will find where it said dns as you remember we're doing the dns configuration and double click on the dns and now it's going to show you the dc one which is our domain control one okay so now from here what you want to do as you can see you want to double click on the dc one double click on it go to forward the double click on forward and it's as you can see it's already selected forward here okay as you can see here so you don't have to do anything else because forward is already selected okay so now so we don't have to choose anything just leave it as default in here in folder and you want to click on edit and then now you want to clear this ip address here and because we're going to put a new ip address which is like the one that we already have okay so now you want to just clear this zone right here when you say click here to add an ip address okay that's what we want to do so let's clean this one out and then put our ip address which is going to be 10.80 dot 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 one okay so now that's the step that we that's what we want to do first and when it's done you see as you can see the ip address is already added and then now you want to click on okay and as you can see so the 10 that 80 that 80 is here so just click on apply as you can see here and then click on okay okay so now you want to do you want to close this one right here all right so now that one is done and we already add that ip address and then now our next step will be to do the dhcp dhcp installation so since the DSCP is disabled on our AD lab interface, so we, this is where we want to go. We're going to go to manage and then click on add rules. And then here, now you want to click next until you get into configuration. Okay, so now click next and then next one more time and then next here. And then now we want to choose exactly where it says service role right so we have service role here so now you want to go when you said the scp server and then you click that one and then this is the different feature that will be required for our dhcp server okay 
so which is going to be remote server administration to role administration so you to click add features and then now click on next and then here next again next until you find configuration and then you click on install and now just give it a time it should be installing real quick all right so now that one is pretty much done and then as you can see here we have our dhcp our ad our dns file storage services everything looking good so far okay right so let's just see now let's go ahead and then add here you click on the flag and then when you click on the flag just click on um complete the scp okay so now you want to click on next here and then use it as you can see here we have the username which is id administration okay so the id administration you want to click on commit and then you want to click on close okay so i just let it give it a time it should be coming up soon so now let's go back to our windows here click on windows administrative tools and then go all the way down to dhcp all right dhcp as you can see here we are inside of our dhcp so the dhcp configuration it is disabled it is disabled on our ad lab right so it, because of like the interface and with with the new devices added they will not be assigned ip addresses we will enable the dhcp service on the on the dc so once the setter device coming to the ad lab network will be automatically assigned to ip addresses by domain control dhcp server that's why we're setting up the dhcp server here okay so now let's go ahead and move into so now we are here in dhcp lab as you can see we have the dsc1 ad lab and then now we just want to right click on it open the ipv4 and we need a new scope and then you click on news right click okay hold on right click you go to apv4 and then right click on the ip4 and then click on new scope okay that's what we need here new scope and then now the next step will be just to click on next and as you can see he's showing you welcome to the new scope wizard okay so just click on you want to click on next and then here you have to provide a name which is going to be the ad uh, let's see ad lab okay so that's the description we have to write the description here in description will be default dhcp okay default dhcp for ad lab okay um that's the description that we are going to give here all right so now when you give that description you are pretty much done click on next and then here now we have to give a start and the end ip addresses so if the start ip address will start with this amount of ip which is going to be 10 that ad that ad now that ad let's see that 11 that's a how that's a, how we start ip address okay so now we want to put the end ip address which is going to be so 10 that 80 that 80 let's see the end we can put it that um let's see um let's see so uh, 25 okay so we have addresses between 10.80.80.11 and 10.80.80.25 okay so that's all those addresses we will have it so the length is going to be 24 and then the subnet mask is going to be 255.255.255.0 okay so we we'll click on next and then now here as we already gave the started ip address so we're just gonna leave it as default and then click on next and then here the amount of days that is gonna last okay so we want to make sure that it lasts like 365 days so now we can just kind of change it up here 365 
and that's the amount of that's the duration of the ip addresses that we provided are gonna last before it expire okay so now that we gave that um the days is most important you don't have to worry about hours so you just wanna um click on next and that part is done and then yes i want to configure this and click on next okay and then now from here to add ip addresses for router used by client enter the address below okay so to add an ip address okay let's just use the same idea the same ip address which is going to be 10.80.80 that one okay so that's the ip address is here and then our step is done you want to click on add as you can see it's already added here and then now you want to click on next and then we everything looking good so far ad lab that's the parent domain next and then here win server computer running windows can use windows so you want to click on next also and then active scope yes i want to activate this scope now and then you click on next you don't have to change anything from from here there you go and then complete the new scope Just. All right, so here we already set up the um, DC one lab the IPv4 is already done. And then now let's go ahead and see what we have next here. All right, let's put it that here. That one is already done. Let's go ahead and then close this one here. Close then. Now let's go to manage Then after you click on manage, let's go ahead and then add rows and feature. Okay. So now we are here. Um, you want to click on next, um, before you begin. Okay. This wizard help you answer role and then, okay, as we adding role here, so you just want to click on next here and then click on also next. And then next, because we already have the DC one lab. And then here we have our Active Directory certificate, several features. And then here we want to choose Active Directory. Okay. And then this is the different feature that will come with the Active Directory that we're going to add for the certificate. And then add features. And then click on next. And then next. And then next. As you can see, this is the certificate and then click on next and then click on install and then now let it go. Let the installation go through. Okay. And then as you can see, the installation is done. I had to forward the video from there. It took me a little bit of time, but yeah, and then close that one. And when it's closed, you want to go back to the windows um, button here and then restart um, our machine. So click on restart. And the machine will restart because we want those configuration we did that you know make sure that it works that's why we're going to restart so as you restart here log back in with your um ad administrator password and then now we are back here so as you can see let's just give it a time it should be coming up soon there you go All right, so now that you see we are here in our server manager so now the configuration that we did you remember we did the dns configuration and also we did the dhcp um, configuration that's what we needed for this right here so let's go back here to into the flag and then look here click on conf configure active directory certificate service and when you click that it will bring you to this credential um, page right here okay so now what you want to do you want to click on next and then choose the certificate authority 
and then click on next and leave it as an enterprise okay so we click on next and then root just leave it as it is click on next and also click on next you don't have to change anything here crypto next the name is there next and then next certificate next configure confirmation and click on configure when you get to confirmation and then let it um install right here because it's showing you the progress and result is like it's working so we have our certificate authority working okay 